Hey everybody, at BV Matson here, and uh, working on the CB77 Superhawk. Got an hour or two that I can get some wrenching done, so I've got my trusty manual out. Got my bolts ready, and I've got my clutch cover all good to go. Everything has been freshly greased and packed. Big thing, don't forget that little ball bearing that goes down in there. I think it's a number 10. Don't quote me on that, check your manual. But don't forget the ball bearing, because otherwise, you're not gonna be able to push that around. You're not gonna be able to hit your clutch, so, um, or move those clutch plates. So yeah, let's do it. I got my cable already installed. The cable is actually already uh, lubricated, good to go there. If you haven't already, get yourself a mug at keeponwrenching.com. Hit up the store, <laughs> just have to be laying there, might as well do it. So yeah, let's get that cover in place and then we'll go through the clutch adjustment. And it uh, looks pretty simple. It's like literally three steps according to the manual. One really important note before you put the side cover on, ask me how I know. Make sure that you grab the kickstart shaft and turn it all the way clockwise, right? You need this to be kind of dead end stop, okay? And then if you look on the end of this piece, if I get focused, there's a little dot right there. And on your kickstart shaft, there's also a little dot. You're gonna wanna align those. Make sure those are aligned. Make sure this is all the way to the right. I actually just turned it. I wish I wouldn't have, because I would've got it on camera. But turn this all the way forward till it stops. And then make sure those dots are aligned. All right, I'm gonna grab my cover and I'm gonna be careful for the whip factor here on this cable so it doesn't come up and nick anything. But we should be able to. Oh man, am I gonna have to remove the freaking brake? Yep, you sure do. You gotta remove that brake lever, otherwise that cover ain't going on. All right, so now that's just one bolt that comes right off of there, so that's easy peasy. Now we can grab the cover. And we got a couple contact points, your Kickstarter uh, gear, that gets installed right there. And then this push rod right here for the clutch actually gets installed into here. So it's gonna be kind of straight on. You do have to get rid of that cover. And we're gonna make sure that everything mates up nice. Hopefully, and then it should, there we go, slide right on. It should not be very difficult to deal with at all. So there's our cover. If I move you back here, again, I always suggest that you grab a little piece of cardboard, draw out your different bolts, because these are of different sizes and lengths. I need to, and having these all on cardboard really makes it easy to just kind of apply a little bit your anti-seize. You can just go ahead and hit the treads. All right, once those are in place, go ahead, grab your JIS screwdriver. JIS, these look like Phillips. But they are not. Your GIS is going to not strip out the heads on these. We're just going to go just a little snug. Now we can snug them up with the torque. Again, we're going to work around in places. Actually, let me get this last little plate in. Got to get this in. There's this oddball kind of cover that goes on the back. Before I cinch this down, I want to make sure that I get this in place. Give you a little better look at that little cover. So little top little chain cover right there. Want to make sure that we get that into place. I'm gonna grab some anti-seize and get these two bolts installed. And there we go, one again, all there. And go ahead and do that and grab the torque and just gently kind of go around this thing. Just like that. That's all, that's all you're gonna need on this. Just a little bit, just a little bit. And again, remember to work around the clock you know, or not around the clock. You wanna kinda of stagger this stuff as you go around. You know, before we hop over to the clutch cable, let's go ahead and finally install our side cover on this thing. There's no gasket. It just goes right there, just like that. Try and line up one of your bolts. Once you get one, you should have them all. That is right there, I think. But yeah, this will complete this side, man. I've been waiting to, been waiting to kind of close this up for quite a while here. You know, before I get to cable install, it kind of dawned on me that I might as well go ahead and get the Kickstarter put in. I actually had to go back and reference some photos on this. That nice fresh rubber on that goes straight up and down. If you've done it correctly, 
That should be your orientation on that ping mark and that round dot. Here's kind of the configuration of this rear brake pedal right here. All connects through here with your cable. It'll slide on just like that. It's a locking pin that goes in back behind there. And then it's literally the, this one long bolt goes all the way through. It holds your brake pedal. And then you can kind of see on this one, there's a little worn part here. You can see it goes right straight up and down. Basically the whole unit goes straight in just like that. Get in there. Just a matter of tightening up a couple bolts. We're moving on. All right, that's all in place. Oh, I just saw, I put that on backwards. Look at that Honda's upside down. Is it right side up over here? Yeah, it's right side up over there. Okay, good, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. All right, routing the cable. Pretty short little clutch cable, doesn't have far to go. All right, so here's kind of how it routed the easiest. It kind of felt like it wanted to go this way. Up, underneath the tank, and then up over the tank mount, and then oh, underneath, straight up, across your cluster. I went behind all the wiring. This one's, this is your clutch cable right here. And that's gonna get us right to our lever. Just gotta get my adjuster on there, and then we can get this hooked up. Let's go ahead and grab our adjuster and swing this thing all the way on all the way on and we're going to want to align our slot there's a slot in the bolt and there's a slot in this so we just want to get all three of these in a line just like that and we should be able to grab this just like that and that's going to be locked in there go as far as i can and then honestly the easiest way that i've seen to do this is just to pull this 10 millimeter here and then we'll lever it in and there i go taking stuff apart again <laughs> seems to never end i'm always taking stuff off so i can put more stuff on all right with that bolt out all we need to do is grab our handle slide that in there now we got a little bit of a lever on this we can slide that right into position let me get you up just a little bit just to kind of show you how i did that didn't take a ton of pressure, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and align this. Get it lined up. Cables hooked up. Again, remember, these are a special bolt. They've got a special collar on them. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in. I dropped my nut on the floor, so I gotta go and grab that, but I'll be back. Now we can put it all back together again. And there you go, that's what it's gonna look like. We gotta do clutch adjustment, but we got nice, smooth action on this. It's obviously too loose right now because it's not returning fully. But we can go through the book, see if we can get this bad boy set. So if memory serves me correctly, I do recall doing clutch adjustments on other bikes. That's kind of a good idea to get about half of your adjustment available to you, either one side or the other, so that you can actually fine tune things as you go. So you can kind of look down in here and see how deep that thread is right there. Get her about halfway so you've got some room to play. And we can go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna look down here again. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Go ahead, grab my locker, put that in place. And that's a really good starting, starting point, I would say. Um, then we'll move on down here. And we'll kind of do the same thing. Let's make sure that we've got room for adjustment. That's really the big thing. You know, and after I got done doing that, it's almost returning, almost fully. Got kind of that free play, that three quarter inch kind of free play. I can feel it kind of doing its thing here. Let's go to the book, what's it say? Test the clutch free, free play as shown. Three quarters inch free play. Let's go back up here. Clutch may be adjusted at the hand control at the right hand crankcase cover. You know that. Generally, proper free play may be obtained using the adjusters at either end. If the clutch slips or grabs an adjustment of the cable, adjusting screw may be needed. 
This is that adjusting screw, got a little touch up to do there. And here is that locking nut. So what are they saying? Loosen the locking bolt as shown clockwise until very, okay, loosen the locking bolt as shown and turn the large adjusting screw clockwise until very little resistance is felt. Back it out to the point where resistance is first felt and tighten the locking bolt. Clutch, check clutch op operation by kicking the engine over with the Kickstarter. It should not engage with the hand control pulled in, but the engine should turn over with the controls in its normal position. Okay, so here's that adjusting nut. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this. Okay, I'm gonna grab my flat head. I definitely heard things happening there. Let's see. All right, you can feel this tension in it. Not sure if I'm going, it's like there's, that's not right. And it feels like right there. It's just a little snugginess that happens there. I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten that up. I'm gonna go up here and feel this. That actually feels like that. Look, so I've got free play here. About three quarters of an inch. And there I can feel that engage. That's actually a pretty good feeling clutch right there. It might be a little strong. It takes a little bit of effort to get that to go. So, here we go. I think this is pretty damn close right off the bat here. Whoops, I need to tighten this bad boy. Of course, that's gonna be a 12. Man, my tools are such a mess. My tools are just such a mess. Super frustrating today. It's really hot too, so my patience is waning quite a bit. Oh, this is an 11 actually. It's not a 10, it's not a 12, it's gotta be an 11. And it sure is. Lock, just like that. And you know what, this feels like a clutch to me. Got a little bit of play. And there it is right there. All right, let's test it. All right, according to the book, we use the kickstart right here. Reach over here. I got the clutch pulled. I'm gonna push forward. I have no engagement. No engagement at all on the motor. So that's good. Now, if I let up on it, do I have engagement? Oh, oh yeah. It's hard to do, man. That's hard to do with just hand force. But that worked. This clutch actually feels pretty good. That feels like a really good clutch. Got free play, three quarters of an inch, and down. I think we did it. We won't know until we really get it running. But hopefully, these step-by-step -step instructions got you going on that. Because again, it's like, loosen the locking bolt, that's the one on the side. Check the clutch operation by kicking the engine over with the Kickstarter. It should not engage with the hand control pulled in but the engine should turn over with the control in its normal position. We just did that and uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be fine tuning, but uh, all in all, I think it's there. I'm happy with this routing too. Of course, let me know, I'm sure you will in the comments if it routes a little different, but this felt like the most direct route is going over this little gas, the, the or the gas tank mount. And coming up through here, Boom, boom, right into there. That feels really good. All right, a little bit of wrenching done today. That's great. All right, everybody, time will tell if that was accurate, but according to the manual, everything's working great. That right side cover is on. Kickstarter is in position. We're good to go there. Good to go on the rear brake. <laughs> We're getting really, 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 really close on the Super Hawk. Be sure to subscribe uh, to the channel to watch the progress. We're getting to that fine tuning. I mean, that's pretty much all that's left here. Carburetors, um, getting those dialed in, getting the idle figured out, and maybe some minor kind of clutch adjustments on this. 
Ooh, there we go. All right. If you enjoyed the video, again, don't forget to subscribe. Also, find us on Facebook, the Keep On Wrenching community group, full of a bunch of awesome wrenchers. We're helping each other every single day. That's a pretty bike. And don't forget, if you want a free sticker, it's been a little while since I mailed those out, but I got a batch getting ready to go right now. Hit up keeponwrenching.com for that free sticker. All right, been waiting on this right cover for quite a while. And we got clutch, baby. Vroom, vroom. We're getting close. All right, we'll see you in the next video or live stream.